We're Mark and Alice, a couple who left the UK in search of somewhere to build a homestead and connect with nature. This led us to Alentejo, Portugal. Follow us on our journey as we we'll build our homestead, learn to live more self-sufficiently and acquire new skills in farming, permaculture and more. Welcome back to our peaceful little farm here in Alentejo, Portugal. So we needed to make a start on sorting the IBCs and rainwater collection area out. So I started off by dismantling some of the pipe in and also working out where I needed to extend out the IVCs too. So this morning we moved the IBCs uh, around the corner and also um, jet washed down all the mud that was on top of this um, concrete base and now we're just painting the wall behind. Uh, the plan is to um, basically re-concrete the top and obviously extend it out. I've used the concrete blocks so we don't have to create loads and loads of uh, concrete and um, and yeah, I'm going to try and slope it down a bit more this time because it was when we were jet washing it down, it was apparent that a lot of the water was uh, collecting in certain areas rather than just running off. So we'll just uh, create a bit more of a slope there. Um, obviously, I have a roof on it anyway, so it shouldn't be any water underneath, but um, just in case. So the majority of jobs uh, we have to do now are waiting for uh, materials. I just put up this uh, solar light earlier because at night this part of the house is super dark. <laughs> Running on the theme of pallet wood, I'm gonna uh, see if I can make a quick door out of this. Um, so see if that, uh, it kind of uh, smartens this side of the house up a little bit rather than the gas bottle showing. I think I'm gonna have to keep the keep the gaps quite big just to make sure that there's enough uh, airflow in there but um yeah hopefully that will make it look a little bit nicer a while back i did make this uh, uh little door from uh from pallets so it was kind of like trying to match the windows with the color hopefully i can make a better looking one than this though
I've decided I don't like it. I want I want the slats to go down, not um, sorry. I want the slats to go across, not down. Then it looks very good. So back to the drawing board. what we ended up with so um, initially obviously I was going to put slats going down but then you could see the gas bottles straight away so it kind of didn't hide them and then I did the slats across and uh, again you could see the gas bottles through it because of the gaps um, obviously you need good airflow so what I ended up doing was basically putting um, more vertical um, vertical uh, bits of pallet wood that way and then doing other slats along the back, which basically kind of uh, makes it look like a solid door almost. But it's still got the got loads of space for the air to get through, so there's good ventilation. Okay, so this is supposed to be like a little job in between getting uh, materials for other stuff. But um, yeah, basically the we screwed them in. So as you can see, the the bricks are like hollow, so it was just not really holding on to anything. So I'm going to do like a little concrete mix and um, just put this in here, let it set, and then I'll be able to drill into it, and then I'll have to sort of. Uh, repaint it after as well so yeah i was just trying to like do a little job in between other stuff and turn it up turn it into a bit of <laughs> into, into a bit of a headache so yeah is what it is i hope i was hoping to get it finished today but oh well so apparently this is a pig that just walks around the owner lets it lets him out in the morning and then he just walks around. Might be a she, I'm not sure.
And it's literally a pig that lives in a village like six kilometers away. And uh, my neighbor said that the owner just like lets them <laughs> go around. I saw it walking on the main road the other day and uh, we just had some uh, gravel and sand and stuff delivered for the building project we're doing. And uh, yeah, I heard some beeping out on the road and then I went to shut our gate and it was like running down the track. <laughs> so I quickly shut it before I came on our land. So today's one of those days where I just didn't film. <laughs> uh, I just um, needed to crack on with loads of stuff as we're going to uh, Seville for a couple of days tomorrow. But um, yeah, I finished this. I basically had to knock off some of the concrete and um, there's uh, bricks behind it with these um, with these sort of gaps in. So basically I just um, put some concrete and mix in and uh, pushed it as far back as I could so that when I screwed the screws in and put the plugs in, then it would uh, kind of have more to grip onto. Uh, I still need to, a little bit came off at the bottom. I did repaint it and then a little bit come off at the bottom when I was fixing it in. And I also need to spray these black just so it matches. These ones are a bit rusty, I have to spray on top of that as well. And uh, put the put the lock on, so not quite as ugly now. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. And it kind of matches the wood store as well. We still had a whole bed and half a row of space to plant in our new veg garden. We didn't want to do everything at once anyway because we found that last year a lot of the stuff that we needed to harvest was all ready at the same time so we wanted to try and stagger it a little bit this time to see if that makes too much of a difference. We uh, also got a few different varieties of stuff here as well such as different varieties of cauliflower and cabbage. I got the curtains up I guess it would be nice if you could interrupt It's a day like this It's a day I really would have missed It's getting real dark Got quite a lot more done today than I was uh, hoping to get done, which is cool. Uh, like I said, sometimes it's uh, <laughs> picking up the camera and changing the angles and recording and talking and stuff throughout the day. It does kind of add up and sometimes delay things. And today I just needed to crack on with things. And also been working on this base. So again, like um, as I mentioned in one of the last videos, bringing it out by about 25, 30 centimeters to give uh, there are enough gap behind. Check out next week's video to find out what we've done with this wood.
We absolutely love life on the farm, but we've always enjoyed a city break too. When we lived in the UK, we were obviously having to fly everywhere, so we could never take the dogs. So we're really making the most of being in Europe and being able to drive to places and enjoy these experiences with our dogs. Seville is definitely up there, one of the most beautiful cities we've been to. There's lots to do, a lot of historic and beautiful architecture. Most places were really dog friendly too and the weather was almost perfect. It was sunny enough so we could walk around and enjoy the sights but not too hot for the dogs. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next week where we're starting two new projects. <laughs> the door swinging roundy things.